So in the Facebook user group of TouchPigs, we got a lot of questions from customers asking, how can I create my own overlay or how can I use the TouchPix designer? And um, so this tutorial is about that. I'm gonna show you how to use the designer and also how to extract the background from an image so you can add it with transparency in the designer and how you can add it to your event. So let's get started. I am on touchpix.com. When you are logged in, you can see the designer. If you are not logged in, you cannot see the menu item. So make sure you are logged into your account. So when it opens up, it shows a photo strip template. Um, but since we are creating a template for a 360 spinner, usually you would use slow-mo. So let's go to templates and I select slow-mo overlays here. Okay, let's scroll down. I wanna add a landscape template because you can see it starts with portrait. Uh, you have square, landscape, and this is a very long landscape and a long portrait variant. So let's add this one, slow-mo overlay three. I click here and you can see it changes the canvas. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna add some uh, artwork, but um, that's not so straightforward as you might think. I mean, you can get files, images from the internet um, or, you know, take them yourself. What I've done, I downloaded a stock photo and so we have this overlay here, which already has some transparency, as you can see. The, you can see the background is the same as the background of the screen. First, you wanna make sure that you have an image with a transparent background. So for that, you need PNG files. JPEG files are not transparent. So you need PNG files. Doesn't necessarily mean that every PNG is transparent, but PNG can have transparency. So let's see, how do you do that? Um, so I have the picture here of the birthday girl. So there are two ways you can extract the background that I find easy to do. One is to use GIMP, and GIMP is um, like Photoshop, but then free. So let's open up this file in GIMP. Okay. Okay, this is fine, keep. So the most simple way to extract a background is just to cut away everything else that is not necessary. But to make the background transparent in GIMP, it's necessary to add something. So right click on the layer here and click on add alpha channel before you do anything because otherwise it won't extract your background. So now what I do to extract the background is I select this free select tool and I just start making the selection. I'm gonna do it very rough because it's just for the purpose of you know, illustrating how you can extract the background. Let's connect it. So now we have our selection. I just hit delete on my keyboard and it will remove that part of the background. Now we have an active selection and how you can remove an active selection is by going to select and select none, which will remove the selection. So now we still have two purple areas here that I want to remove. So let's click on tool again and let's remove the purple part and I hit delete again and let me deselect it. The only thing that's left to do is to save this file as a transparent PNG. So let's go to file and go to export as and then you go to show uh, select file type, 
And then you scroll down. Let's see, PNG, PNG, where are you? Here. Okay, so now you can see the file extension has changed to PNG. Let's click on export. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for now. So now you can see the file with the background removed. When you have a simple background like this with a person in it, there's actually even an easier way of doing this. So what you can do is go to remove.bg, sorry, and okay. I'm going to click Upload File. This is actually a tool that can remove the background for you. It works really well. It's not perfect, but it works really well. Okay, let's upload this file. Let's see. Boom, there you go. So as you can see, this is, well, this is pretty much perfect. So let's download the high resolution version of this image. Oops, I need to register. I don't need a full resolution, so let's download it here. Okay, so now I have the file here. Let's make sure to get it to the desktop. So as you can see, this is pretty, pretty amazing. So now we have our file with the background extracted and we have this frame let's create an overlay so let's go back to the touchpix.com designer first thing I want to do is I want to add the border so let's go to uploads let's upload it as a custom overlay I click on browse Click on the file, okay? So you can see the file here. Let's click on it, and you can see it's added to the template. To be able to add a template, you need the exact pixel dimensions. So you need to know exactly how large it should be. And you can see that by hovering over the question mark here. It will show you exactly which template needs how many pixels on both sides. Because we need to be able to resize the other image, make sure you add it as a sticker. So under custom sticker, go to browse. And let me get the one from remove.bg here. I click on open. As you can see, it adds the file here in the top of the sticker gallery. And now I click on the file. As you can see it's added to the canvas and now I can drag it around. Let's make it a bit larger here. You can see. Let's put our party girl in the corner. Okay, I like this. Let's add some text. You can do that by clicking on the text section on the left side. I click on large text and let's drag this into place. Let's double click here and add some text. Birthday girl. Okay, all right. Let's drag this to the side so you can see this fits nicely. Okay, let's click somewhere else in the canvas to deselect it and click and drag to position it. So what I want to do is I want to give it a color that sort of matches the template. Not exactly the same color, but color that matches. So let me add a color here, which is a little bit like gold. OK. 
Okay, accept. Yeah, perhaps this can be a little bit darker still. Okay, let's change the font. You can do that by clicking here. And let's see. Um, which template do you need? Birthday cookie. Okay, that's perfect. So the thing is with text, you need to be careful that the background is not too distracting because otherwise you won't be able to read the text. So what I'm going to do is add white here. So if the background is dark, you can see the white. And when the background is light, you can see the, the orange or the, the brown. So let's duplicate this layer by clicking on it and click on duplicate here. So you get basically the same text. You get exactly the same text. And let's move it on top here. If you, you can use your arrow keys to position it correctly. Okay, now let's make it white. Drag here, let's accept. Okay, now you can see birthday girl. You can move the layer down by clicking here, move down button. Yeah, I think I like this. The only thing that I don't like, to be honest, is the, uh, the position of the golden border. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the golden border by going to uploads and by clicking on the minus here. Let's so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the border as a sticker now so I can reposition it. So I go to custom sticker, browse, and I'm going to add it again. Okay, click on the file, open, and I click to add the file once more. And now I can reposition it, reposition it, scale it, to whatever I like. So I make it a bit larger so we have some more, it's more like a real border for the whole, for the whole thing. Okay, I'll make it a little bit smaller. All right, I like this. And um, the thing that I don't like is that the border is over our birthday girl. So let's move this top layer down now. So I already selected it. Let's click on move the layer down. And as you can see, our birthday girl is on top. All right, um, let's reposition the text a little bit. Whoops, there I go. Okay, let's use the arrow keys to position everything correctly. If you want to send this to a client, you can do that, but you cannot save the file in the designer. So, but if you want to send a quick example to a client, you can click the download button here. So you can click on this file and then you have an example to send to the client. So what we do now, we can add it to the event. So I select my event here and click on add template. If you are in TouchPeaks and you're connected to internet, your event will automatically start updating and after it's updated, your template will be in here and your overlay as well. So have fun. See you in the next tutorial.